Now we all know EMTs and paramedics work here in the ambulance, but what about something unique? What about five unique career paths you can take by simply using your EMT or paramedic certification? Here we go. I don't know about you, but I'm excited for this video. I got five unique career paths that are tried and true inside of EMS you probably haven't heard of before. So make sure to smash and annihilate that like button down below, hit subscribe for more of this EMS content, and let's get into it. Yeah, well, hopefully they stay around for number five, but we'll find out. Any large event needs medical staff, so it needs EMTs and paramedics to staff it. So we're talking about sporting events musical concerts or festivals. Now, also inside of event paramedics would be what we call set medics. So what does that have to do with? Well, that could be a TV commercial. That could be a TV show, a movie, for example. A lot of times with these sets, they could also be out in an obscure place. So you're pretty far away from the hospital. Now, there are oil rigs right on the coast of the southern United States. They need medical staffing because the staff is out there for a large amount of time, right. That's where the oil rig paramedic comes in. So you will go out there for a short amount of time and you will go back and forth, back and forth, right? Now, depending on the contract with the oil rig and same thing with the events, this could be days, this could be weeks, this could be months, it all is determined based on that contract. Number three I love is community paramedics and community paramedics. Now with this, paramedics are going out to patients' homes and for a variety of different reasons depending on the service area, but I'll give you one here. Let's say there was a certain community that was having a high risk of CHF flare-ups. Or let's say there was a community that was found that have a large amount of diabetes patients or a large amount of fall victims in a, a service area. A community paramedic program could be started to send a paramedic non-emergent out in the field to follow up with these patients after they leave the ER to make sure that they do not go back to the ER, right? So it's a non-emergency style of paramedicine where paramedics help out in the home by doing house calls and visits. Advanced EMTs and paramedics have a skill of IV access. There are many locations where IV access in blood draws is needed frequently and at a high, high level. If we can do an IV in the back of a moving ambulance, I think we would do pretty well when we're just sitting in an office doing blood draws all day. Right, so a few places. We're talking about uh, medical studies where people may get their uh, blood drawn or they may also um, be receiving a new medication. Um, that would be a place, so medical studies. Also labs as well, so just drawing for a lab to get your lab drawn. Also one number four is IV hydration centers where people go to get vitamins, to get IV drips. They hire paramedics as well in certain locations. Here is number five. Hey, should I, should I tell them? Okay, I'll tell them. Cruise ship paramedics. Yes, you can actually work on a cruise ship as a paramedic. Carnival, Royal Caribbean, look it up. You can actually, and I know people who have worked, number five, as a cruise ship paramedic. The first link in the description is lifetime access to my video study course, which includes over 420 videos of content, plus access to me inside our private student group that's in the thousand strong. Hit there if you're in school or getting ready for your NREMT exams. My friends, I will see you in the next video. Hope you had fun today. See you there.